Hi hey guys, here we go. The challenge uh, gangs of Viridia. This would actually be equal to brutal plus six uh, with maximum 20 points. We have heroes from the storm, uh, outbreak and just die. Now the challenge was uh, to do it with two commanders of different races, but no statement allowed. If uh, you're not soloing, but nobody posted a replay of solo, it seems to be too hard to do. As I heard, gave up zero also said he was enjoying himself. He likes uh, hard challenges, but I got no replay. So it seems nobody was able to solo this. But now we have uh, our well-known pair, Yedrex and Judas, doing this as uh, Vorazun and uh, Stukov. So, uh, Yedrex is Vorazun, Stukov is playing... Uh, 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 Judas is playing uh, Stukov. Uh, so, we have uh, Lord of the Horde. I was actually expecting a frightful Flash Welder, but Lord of the Horde, okay, at least against Outbreaks uh, as a constant trickle of units, units so... We will be defending that. So yeah, here about heroes and uh, the outbreak, the infested that spawn every 20 seconds from enemy uh, structures and uh, go to attack the base. They will also have double lives because we just die. So when they are killed, they one one second immunity when they will while they are reviving and then. Uh, Technically, they don't even die, and then they have to be killed again. Okay, so we have first uh, now these guys. Now, let's see. Okay, Shadow Guard duration. He's uh, he is keeper of shadows. Now we have Raynor. Okay, I believe uh, Apocalypse will be able to kill this before it dies. Okay, it uh, does. Okay, I'm not showing any production here because I like to uh, see the timer over here. But we can check what they have. Uh, actually, let's see what they are doing here. Okay. Uh, no anti-air for now. Okay, he has volatile infested spawn chance mastery. I would prefer actually structure of infestation here. Oh, okay. Now they come. Now this wave comes without heroes. Rainer was easy to deal even with double life, but now, ooh, 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 now these guys have actually reached. They cannot see anything here. They cannot reach the dark pylon, so they had to come there. Okay. So dark, uh, yeah, understandably, they hope black. They want black hole mastery because uh, <coughs> uh, of the heroes. Uh, otherwise, it's mostly better to use the pylon. Okay, now we have uh, here. If I let me slow this down. So we now have Karax, the Haka, and Tychus, the usual suspects. Uh, and uh, okay, the Haka. It's time stop under effect of black munitions. And of course the Haka already has his spawn, so the Haka spawns have a lot less uh, HP. So it's just 250 and they do... Uh, they do... Uh, I, I believe the only half the damage. I actually thought that they have half of the damage of the Haka, but they actually have a lot less can always tell them they were actually properly looked at them. Okay, the Hawk has 1500, Tychos has 1000, Karax has, I believe, uh, can't click on it now, but, uh, okay, 750, 750, okay. Okay, DTs are very good, uh, very good against this. Okay, so 
for now it's kind of okay. We later a lot uh, harder heroes to fight. Okay, uh, Judas already has five bunkers here. No bunkers here yet. Okay, doesn't need these. But I would actually have taken gas. I would have added fact. He didn't add factory yet. But I would add factory because I would add some siege tanks, especially because the enemy is mostly ground. Raiding party, there will be some BCs later, late game, but uh, it's mostly, mostly ground composition. Okay, there are some patrolling DTs over here, which is kind of cute. Okay, I would like some more cannons over here, because these guys also have double lives and they can reach pylon. That's unfortunate downside, if uh, it was a pylon range master, then it would could place the cloaked wall further so they wouldn't be able to uh, they wouldn't be able to see the pylon and it'd be too far okay we have compound upgrades here Rudling station let's see it says uh, apocalypse master that's okay but I would I would definitely go for infrastructure mastery over here I don't know why he chose a uh, lot well, infested spawn chance Okay. Who's flying over the lava? Okay, and he's just, they're just going into the lava. Okay, this is kind of good bunker spread. So they can defend the base. Okay, good thing is they cleared over here. So no, no outbreak, no infested can spawn from this location anymore. I would have to actually probably go for one side first, but now, now these guys, now these things are all here, so they have to go there. Okay, and heroes will, I uh, believe, follow soon. Like at 12 minutes, I believe. Oh, uh, gases are clear now to, for Warazun. Yeah, Warazun needs gas. And that's good for uh, giving Warazun gas, but I will still add, even on two gas, you can add, okay, factories here just for armory for the the... the Aggressive incubation upgrade, but uh, I would have actually added tank. Tanks would be really good to help against enemy composition, but against outbreak mostly, but also a little bit help against heroes too. So, like 10 to 15 tanks would be pretty good. Okay, I was mistaken, not at 12. Okay, the time stop kind of messes things up. Otherwise, it would be, I think, 12. Hmm, not sure actually <laughs> when exactly they. Enemies come, okay, so these guys unfortunately do not, do they suffer from plague munitions? Oh yeah, they do, okay. Okay, now we have Apocalypse here, but heroes are all, uh, all over here. So we now have Nova, Zagara, and uh, Zeratul and Artanis, and we have the fifth now. Uh, okay, so they are all visible. So, uh, Art, the thing is that uh, when and heroes revive they would re regen energy but they don't let they, they already have a lot of energy regen if you can see zagara okay zagara ah it's time stop so now they don't regen but they don't ability cooldowns don't uh, re reset because that would be a lot harder if uh, would, for example zagara would have like mass frenzy again and drop nova would have nuke uh, uh, and so on. So uh, Artanis also doesn't get uh, his uh, uh, passive, doesn't even show here his resurgence uh, reinstated, reset. So uh, so Artanis first, it will be uh, resurgence, I believe, first. And then when it finally dies, uh, has to, you have to kill him again. Okay, nuke only now. Okay, nuke was actually cancelled, that was nice, Nova was killed. Okay, now Artanis is here and uh, Zeratul is also still alive. But they they actually uh, probably didn't even notice. Okay, for infested to kill heroes, that's kinda, you know, that's not gonna happen in minutes and minutes, so we have to... Uh, uh, Warazun would have to intervene over here. Well, we have these outbreaks, but good thing is that we have also the Stukov's outbreak, which is more powerful. Okay, they are respecting the lava, but they don't uh, receive any damage. Now we have to see the void armor on Zeratul and Artanis now. 
The cat Zeratul is here. Okay, these patrolling guys are helping against this outbreak, which is kind of cute. Okay, now Warazon definitely has to count this infested will never kill this, or well, it would take the like actually never kill Artanis because by the time he would able to be uh, killed, he would have a resurgence again. So now have we have new new dudes coming, but uh, these guys are still not. Uh, Done. Okay, now Stilko has trouble. Now this, now with siege tanks, actually it could they could be killed. So uh, uh, it would be better, like if Judas had uh, siege tanks. But he said he was uh, lazy, so he just went for mass bunkers over here. Okay, now there will be trouble here because the heroes, uh, new heroes are coming here. Okay, did oh Zeratul actually did die. But Arti, I believe, has a uh, resurgence again. Ooh, that's a... Uh, that's a uh, apocalypse over here. Okay, now time stop, actually. You can see that time stop stops apocalypse. But it only... Okay, delays it. Okay, now it will go off. Luckily, these structures were, I mean, they cannot be one shot. It deals 700 damage, 300 to unit, 700, or 750 to, uh, to, I mean, I think 700 to structures, but okay. Just one, if it will, it was nuke on top of that, that, it, that would be trouble for these structures. Okay, it seems that Artanis also died, so, uh, was killed eventually. So, what's Judas's upgrades? Okay, so I think 3-3, three, three, so good. He forgot uh, the compound upgrades. I mean, if you're not going tanks, then you should at least go for uh, for these things. Uh, queens could also be good because queens deal 300 damage uh, spawn brutaling ability, so they would be pretty good against heroes. <coughs> so I would actually go. I will. I think I would go a few siege tanks, but also a few queens over here. So a uh, nice time stop. Uh, nice time stop here. Uh, actually, it was not even time stop. I think just uh, yeah. No time stop, just, uh, let's see. Oh, it was, okay. Now where are the heroes? Heroes are here, but they, they will wait for the lava. Unfortunately, a lot of uh, infested, yeah, will be lost to the lava, so that's kinda thing on this map. It's even more reason to go for some siege tanks. See that uh, Yadrex uh, Judas is kind of lazy, but Yadrex is uh, not f 2 with whole army. He has the groups of units. See this guy is still patrolling. So this is good. Like he has uh, these guys under control group, some production structures and Exile also. Okay, Zagara will always see the first. That's good. That, uh, to save big units because the Gara will always eat the first unit he sees. Uh, the Haka will <laughs> always uh, eat the first unit. So now he at actually you see that uh, one infested. Okay, now ooh, run, 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 run. Okay, I mean, and now we have black hole. With mastery, black hole has uh, 5.6 uh, seconds longer duration. It's eight eight seconds without mastery. Thirteen point six with uh, with mastery, and also of course the other of his mastery is uh, the energy. Okay, the thing is now at 20 minutes and 15, or 20, 20, I think 2015 is that uh, aberrations will start coming, it will become more difficult. Okay, unfortunately they don't have detection here now. Uh, Judas could have built missile turret, I mean he was really lazy this game. I mean uh, Giedrex could build a cannon here too, but I mean cannon has to be in power field and... Uh, I mean, I would, I would build a missile turret here because the enemy is Terran, so now this is actually a normal nuke. Okay, this uh, bunker is going away, but unfortunately this one is also in range. 
so it will die. Ghost is still alive over here. Okay, now the now the aberrations come. They will also have double life, so that's kind of pretty big power spike for Raymon uh, here. See that they have 270. Yeah, they're on 3-3. They have pretty big bonus against armored units, but uh, okay. Luckily for commanders, they don't have armored units. None of this is armored. But now in aberrations, uh, I would place like at least two or three tanks here. Maybe two or three here, two or three here to, to, to deal with that thing. And then the queens to help against uh, heroes. Because now uh, a lot of this infested will be just fighting these aberrations over here. Okay, they are think going for bow. Oh, hybrid second life done already. Ooh, 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 stop, 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 stop. Okay, paying attention. Good. Now we have um, Yeah, I can see that aberrations are not easily killed. They, uh, the attack speed is pretty fast. And do a lot of damage. Now time stop for the heroes. Okay, now we have the six heroes is maximum amount that you can have in one wave. Now we have Rainer. Rainer is the easiest to deal with. Ooh, Penetrator Blast actually deals what? Ooh, I, I believe in start, it started on deals like 100 damage or so. So Penetrator Blast actually uh, is stronger as this game progresses. I'm uh, pretty much sure that it doesn't deal 300 damage and start. Okay, we have two Zera tools, the Haka, Zagara, Nova and Raynor. Okay, Nova's nuke deals 600 damage. Okay, we got another Raynor, I'll, I'll try to see. But I thought that it deals 80, 75 or 100 damage. Oh, 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 nuke, 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 nuke. Okay, that nuke will definitely land. Okay, these two were still uh, doing performing the the not the, the what's the shadow fury, <laughs> so they weren't affected by the nuke because they are invulnerable while performing shadow fury. Okay, so it's going kind of pretty smoothly, mostly thanks to Warazun. But w one thing that I would do is actually that uh, he, uh, that uh, Yedrex forgot he did, oh, he did actually take the upgrade, uh, Stasis Calibration, but now uh, he d isn't using it and it's good when you have a, when you call this in black hole, then actually put a Stasis uh, ward inside of the black hole. Otherwise, you cannot. You, you can only spawn camp with stasis. But I think heroes appear a little bit later, so stasis would be triggered by units. But uh, heroes are all detectors, most of them range, so they would kill the stasis ward. But they cannot kill it if they are black hole. So you put uh, the stasis inside of the black hole, and then they got trapped. So and then you can repeat the process. So you not just need one black hole, and then you. Uh, continue with uh, stasis traps to keep them pacified so you can kill them easily but uh, he he's not doing it he actually forgot to do that that's one thing you can do with uh, okay we have Tychus let's see Tychus Granite is 200 yeah I think it does only 75 at start so uh, we have another Raynor carry again I click on Kerrigan, I can add it too many units over here. Okay, now I can. Vocal is, yeah, 700 damage to structures. That's uh, 50. This is 150, so it doesn't increase. Hmm. Was I wrong the whole time? But, ooh, run! Okay, these guys actually weren't affected. Hmm, interesting. Okay, Bainling Barrage by Zagara. 
Okay, now the roaches. Okay, so now, yeah, now these aberrations are uh, causing problems because they are uh, attacking these carrying carrying workers. Okay, this is, uh, yeah, this I think is all. No, this is the, the wave. The pain. Oh, the pain. Oh, where is where did he retreat? Okay. We have this, at least I think this one will not be harassed because everything here. Okay, there are still uh, structures here. So aberrations technically can come, but I think they would come over here as they are. So probably nothing will come this way. As you can see, there are some aberrations. Yeah, they spawn every 20 seconds, so... Uh, can be four, four to six of them. Yeah, we have some liberators guard. Oh, bonus! Oh, yeah, I, f I actually forgot about the bonus when they want to do it. Okay, so now Judas is going for the bonus. Okay, these guys cannot make it. No, 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 no. Can they? Can they? Can they? Ooh. Ooh. That will be close. Okay, this one did. Now this one can. Ooh, that's that's unfortunate. Ooh, that was clutch. That was really clutch. Okay. Now. This guy will die, but just once, because uh, I'm moving away. Whoops. Uh, then there's no way I can kill that in time. Is it? No, no, no. Okay, they have to. One more, one more to kill. Okay, Apocalypse attack this. So, okay, Apocalypse is going, but it's late. Okay, maybe he can, he can still... Oh, there are no heroes here. Heroes are on the other side. Okay, so Apocalypse will still provide quite a, quite a value before it dies. Okay, good. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Now we have aberrations here. Yeah, Judas always wants to do bonus. Okay, let's see what we have now. Do we have... Okay, we have a rain order. Let's see. Now, now it deals 300. Hmm, I am not sure. I would have to check uh, the first trainer, but I think that at start it doesn't deal so much. Snipe always deals 200. Okay, so we have Raynor, Karax, the Haka, Nova, Ke and two Kerrigans. So that's uh, Nova and two Kerrigans. That's, uh, that's hard to kill. Karax managed to get one monolith, by the way. Judas should infest this model, it should be infested. I don't know if it can be infested while time stop. I think it can, but... Uh, okay, now it would be a really good time to put one stasis inside. Because we have two Kerrigans. It takes... Okay, that's actually second life. Oh, nice. Okay. It was faster than I was expecting. Okay, these all guys are at one. I think they got hit by Apocalypse or something. But the uh, emergency recall is a really cool thing. Okay, now most aberrations will, com will come from this area. I uh, see that they are coming because there are more structures over here. So the biggest chance that they will spawn in this area. Okay, now they are gathering. Now they will kill it easily. It's just less than half of its health. <coughs> okay, collect this. Yeah, laziness. Oh, Judas was really lazy. No queens. I think even benches would help with the, uh, against heroes, but I would not go benches. I would go, I would go uh, some siege tanks plus liberators. But okay, good thing is that he gave all the gases to uh, some more value to give uh, gases to Warazun. So I would actually go. I mean, this is long game, so I would have at least like six, seven tanks and few queens. Just with just on two gases, so that would be it. Okay, now it's done. Now it's just this crystal. I don't have to fight anymore. Just make sure that aberrations don't, because you can see lava doesn't affect them. 
Lava doesn't affect Amon's units. That, that should not be a case because if they respect it, they should uh, be damaged by it. Okay. And that's the heroes first. Okay, they want to fight the heroes. They want to actually fight the heroes. So to be parked over here, I believe, yeah. <laughs> they want to fight this hero. They want to do more damage. Okay. What heroes do we have? Only three heroes. No, okay, there is Raynor. Yeah, it deals 300 damage. Have to check it out, guys. Uh, next game I'll pay uh, more, most attention, more attention to stay tuned for tomorrow's video. Okay, Arty has... Uh, Oh, Zeratus also here. Uh, these things could, should come closer to actually uh, observe Zeratul because Zeratul is now invisible over here. Ah, nice, but they didn't kill Zeratul. Ah, you forgot to kill Zeratul. Okay. Uh, so that's it. Uh, that's it, guys. Let's see the... Okay, let's get out of the... No, uh, I need to parse this. Sorry, guys. I need to parse the replay into the... Oh, I don't even have it on. Strange. I thought I do. It bug out. Because I was using it, wasn't I, today? Oh, I think... Oh, maybe I didn't. Maybe I... Maybe I wasn't... Yeah, I think I wasn't actually. Okay. So let me... Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna pause this. Parse replay and uh, sorry guys, I should have maybe paused, but okay, it will be in a few seconds. Uh, Bora Stukov. Oh, what? Oh, what? I said, oh, open. Oh, oh, oh no, sorry guys, Gangs of Iridia. Vorastukov. There we go. So this is not uh, high APM actually needed over here, just high damage output. And Borazun, you can see that uh, okay, Judas have almost half the kills, but uh, of course it's uh, Yedrix Vorazun guy. Judas even killed uh, nine heroes, uh, but most damage, I think at least 80% of damage to heroes was uh, by Yedrix. He lost 48 Dark Temple, it was a long game, so uh, they had a lot of gas, and six gases, so no problems. And, uh, yeah, but I would definitely go for Infested Structure cooldown here, and instead of all Infested Sponchance, I would add some tanks, and I would also add some Queens, and Queens are also good if your detection dies, and you can make your uh, DT's detectors, you can make your uh, Corsairs to, to, to see Zeratul and Ghosts, also, and you can also make bunkers. That would that what I would also do. Make bunkers detectors. So I'll uproot the bunker because it has to be in a unit mode. In the bunker list mode, then you place nuclear symbiont, and then you root it back, and then it stays on it for three minutes. So to see this ghost, so they don't suck the nukes. Well, they did suck one. It killed one bunker. Okay, so that's it, guys. Um, Thanks for watching, like and subscribe if you liked it, and uh, watch uh, my other videos too. See you guys.